how's everyone doing today welcome back to the channel thank you for tuning in appreciate all of you uh make sure if you have not done so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button and you leave a comment down below i would greatly appreciate it uh i'm trying to get my channel uh a more uh, to become more a uh, serious uh, YouTube channel and without subscribers I cannot do that so uh, uh, thank you guys for all uh, tuning in today I appreciate all of you so I don't know if uh, if you guys are following the channel uh, you know that I had a <clears throat> I had said that uh, I was not gonna get any more uh, nitro cars until uh, everything here is fixed now uh, what happened is uh yesterday i started um adding up all the parts i was going to need so i need some screws and some glow plugs for the tamiya i need a let me put the flashlight on i need a pull start for the dirt tracks and some wheels and i need a brushless combo system for the earthquake down there so I started adding everything up and it was coming up to a pretty good amount just for the parts I need. Um, just between the glow plugs and the uh, and and the cost of the screws I need is like 40 bucks for the Tamiya. Pull starts between 10 to 20 dollars for the Duratrax and then the brushless combos like 100 bucks for the uh, the Red Cat. Uh, earthquake 3.5 so I started adding everything up and then I started browsing uh, Facebook uh, marketplace and I come across a good deal so uh, yesterday me and my wife um, we drove like a three hour round trip yesterday to pick this up so let me show you what we picked up yesterday Three and a half, uh, about three hours total trip to pick this puppy up. Now, can you guys see why I picked this up? This is extremely nice Duratrax Maximum MT Pro. So this car, out of the box, come with $300 of hop-up upgrades, which includes a two-speed transmission, power-boosting tuned pipe, this has a uh, strong 606 T6 aluminum chassis, complete ball bearings, 16 total, uh, tons of tough anodized aluminum parts, throttle return spring for servo uh, power loss protection, all with included maximum mt technology so let's get this on the workbench let me put this on the workbench so we can get a better view because you guys really can't see it that good from over there so you guys see all the all of the upgrades that this come with now i looked this car up yesterday and uh, this came out and back in 2001 people so this is uh, 22 years old so this has the original box and this car is 22 years old people so let's take a closer look at the box before we open it up and take a look at what's inside here so we have a powerful torque 16 nitro engine comes with a Duratrax pistol grip uh, radio by Fabuda uh, I don't know how to pronounce the name sorry about that comes with a free nitro starter pack uh, let's see what it says here fully assembled painted and trimmed body factory installed radio system complete with double a batteries free nitro starter pack just add fuel and go so this thing is ready to run out of the box when this come out back in 2001 people so let's take a closer look at some of these other features we have on here i'm actually going to put my headlamp on so that can see the side of the box a little bit better here let me turn this light on also so that we can see you can read the side of the box a little bit better for you guys 
Okay, so let's start from the top. So it has the Torque 16 ABC engine. High output with easy recoil starting. So it comes with the pull start. Um, we have max sized fuel tank holds 85 cc's of nitro for long run times and has flip top for rapid refills. This actually come from the factory with a tuned pipe. So I'm taking it that they had a base model version of this truck which did not have the tuned pipe did not have the uh, aluminum suspension parts this has uh, aluminum suspension parts durable and flex free uh, let's see bell crank case this says uh, durable aluminum steering uh, bell crank maximizes minimizes slop and improves steering Rapid tune oil shocks, extra large wide body coilover shocks with easily adjustable spring tension, plus purple anodized aluminum shock bodies and caps. Okay, then we got rapid tune turnbuckles here. So, metal hex centered design featured. On all tie and camber rods, wrench is included for easy adjustments. So this comes with adjustable links uh, from the factory. Uh, chrome wheels, freshly chromed wheels shown. There's beauty in the beast. Split V 2.2 truck tires supplied grip on any surface, guys. So... This thing had some pretty nice features for back in 2001. So let's see what this says here. Rigid frame 6, 60, 61 T6 aluminum chassis. Extra durable 2.5 chassis hangs tough through punishing monster mayhem. Awesome. So this also has rear universal dog bone axles heavy duty and precision machined for perfect power delivery so this actually had dog bones which at that time and this time when this come out a lot of uh trucks were uh how do i say they were like belt driven i don't know if they had dog bones um i'm not sure if they used this design or not but uh, I don't think a lot of a lot of stuff that was out at that time did. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong. Correct me in the comments down below. So let's start back over here. It has a fiber right disc brake, reliable, responsive, and heavy duty, so you can stop on a dime. So this has a special type of disc brake going on. Um, this has okay. Let's see what it says here. Extra tough metal diff gears not plastic so back in 2001 they were using metal diff gears on this thing so let's see what else do we have two speed transmission one gear for quick acceleration one for top speed so as far as i know they had a base version of the max mt and then they had that max mt pro which this is which this came with the two-speed transmission from what i was reading online uh last night if you bought the base version you had to buy all of this stuff separately you had to buy two-speed transmission separately you had to buy tuned pipe you had to buy the the purple chassis uh you had to buy the ball bearings um so basically if you bought the the regular non-pro maximum mt you would have to buy all of the upgraded stuff separately, which would put you way over the cost of <clears throat> the pro version if you just bought it right out, of the, right out of the box as a pro. Okay, so let's see what else it says here. Three shoot clutch improves acceleration over two shoe setups. So this has a three shoe clutch in there, um, which I guess is adequate. I do not... Um, have any opinion whether it's good or not we'll have to wait and see how it works and complete ball bearings 16 total so this car at the time a lot of these uh, nitros come with um come with bushings instead of bearings in the wheels and then 
all of the drivetrain and stuff so um yeah so it would not be as smooth as this is gonna be Let's see what else it says in the box here totally tricked out options and you have all of the stuff list listed here okay max exploding with upgrades so this thing was apparently fully decked out at the time and look at what we have here just noticed this just now this is the original sticker that come on this box four hundred eleven dollars and eleven cents that's how much this cost brand new now i'm gonna let you guys speculate for a second on what you guys think that i paid for this take a guess what i paid for this truck i'm gonna let you guys think about it for a second while we look at the rest of the features on this box here okay there was some stuff i wanted to read to you guys um Okay, we got the fuel. The only thing you needed to buy with this was fuel. Not included was the fuel. This came with everything else. This came with the fuel bottle, these, uh, the igniter. Um, there was some interesting stuff I read yesterday. That I'm trying to find out here. Okay, this is the other side of the box. Okay, this is the side I want to see. Okay, so what we have, the disc brake tuned pipe which we read about already people okay rugged realistic body molded from crash resistant polycarbonate the maximum mt pros body arrives cut trimmed and professionally painted it's rugged sturdy stylish and all you have to do is apply decals and amount the chrome details so this thing was ready to go pretty much right out of the box okay let's take a look at the the radio system that it's talking about here so pro quality radio okay it says manufactured for dirt tracks by fabuda um, makers of the finest most most technologically advanced radio systems in the world the transmitters comfortable grip and superior balance let you race longer without tiring it's equipped to make the most out of your driving skill so come with a very adequate uh, radio system this is a very good brand by the way I don't know how well this radio system uh, still works today because this uses uh, crystals and a lot of times these uh, radio systems that use crystals uh, they tend to pick up interference and your car can turn into a runaway so I'm going to see about maybe using it, maybe maybe not using it, okay? But anyways, after you guys see the condition of this car, we're going to have to determine how we're going to use this anyways. Okay, includes uh, servo reversing LED status indicators. So I guess this will let you know if you are low on power or anything. Um, steering and throttle servo trims, which is uh, standard. Uh, retractable antenna which I hope it would be retractable and changeable crystals so all all of the RC's at the time had most of these features so this is just very standard stuff but this car c came with this from the factory so let's see what else we have okay it's monster muscle the torque 16 engine it's a true ABC construction an aluminum piston brass cylinder liner and chrome plating okay so it's an abc so this is a uh, more more reliable than like an abn which the tamiya is an abn style engine which is a uh, aluminum uh, brass and nickel i believe which is a softer metal which uh, you have to run different types of fuel on to uh to not damage the motor so um this is very good news for us because this means that this motor um, could possibly be in good shape so we're gonna have to open this up and take a look at it and find out I did not attempt to do anything to this when I bought this last night I got back it was about 10 or 11 so I did not uh, did not try to uh, start this I did not try to do anything 
with this yet. I just waited till I woke up today to make this video and now we're going to check it out. So we have reliable coil starter, unique design makes engine starting quick and easy. Okay, that's standard rotary carburetor with low and high speed needle adjustment. So this has a high a high speed and a low speed needle adjustment and it has a rotary carb which is very good for this model um i i i like rotary carbs so it's adequate to me um we have dual heavy duty ball bearing supported crankshaft so the, even the crankshaft on this has ball bearings so i guess some of the some of the rcs that were out at the time were still using bushings so this was like a better quality model. Like I told you guys, they had um, they had two versions of this. They had the non-pro and the pro version. The non-pro did not use the purple anodized chassis. I believe it had a silver chassis and it had a single speed. So you had to buy this stuff as an upgrade if you bought, if you wanted to have these features on your base model. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Heavy duty connecting rod with oil feed hole. That's standard. Large heavy duty air filter. Okay, we're going to take a look at that in a little bit. Okay, let's take a look at the other features we have here. So we have flashy chromed wheels. There's Beauty and the Beast. Split V 2.2 truck tires. Apply grip in any surface. Okay, then we have a closer look at the chassis here. Rigid, cha rigid frame 6061 uh, T6 aluminum chassis, extra light, extra durable, 2.5 millimeter chassis hangs tough through punishing monster mayhem. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at that also. We're gonna take a closer look at the chassis and see how that looks like. Okay, I'm going to look at this in a second. Alright, so let's look at the rest of the features. We looked at the tune pipe. We looked at the disc brake. <coughs> okay, this has um, rear universal uh, dog bone axles. Heavy duty, precision machined for perfect power delivery. So this, instead of using like a regular dog bone that this is not directly connected to, this has, uh, this is a universal joint so this can flex and these two pieces are actually still physically connected they're not just slipped into one another so this is actually a very good design because some of the time there is just this shaft here without this attached usually this piece is separate and has a cup and this just slips in and out and what happens when you're doing uh you're driving over bumps or anything these sometimes pop out if this is not connected like this so this is actually extremely good feature uh, in my opinion and let's see what else it says max exploding with upgrades baby so this thing is fully decked out from the factory with all the maximum amount of parts that um you could have possibly got on there so you got the two speed you have the anodized chassis you have the torque 16 motor with the ball bags you have the uh, dog bones um, with the universal joints so this says this came with a uh, a VHS, and I opened this up already last night. The VHS was not in there, so I'm slightly disappointed with that, but not really for the price I got this for. I cannot expect everything to be in there. So uh, this is what I wanted to show you guys, which I thought was a really cool feature. So okay, let's take a let's let's read through this together. It says plastic parts so durable that they're guaranteed. Okay, so they're saying that this thing is made out of plastic that's so good that they guarantee it. Okay, let's see what they say about it. Designed to keep you in action and out of the shop. Stress tech parts are super rigid to stay strong without brittle, but without being brittle enough to break. Plus, they're protected by one of the most remarkable parts guarantee in RC. Okay, so let's see what they say about that. So they're saying they guarantee these parts. So they're saying their plastics are superior to everyone else's plastics. So let's see why. Stress tech 
part guarantee. Duratrax is so confident of the quality and durability of stress tech plastic parts that will replace any stress tech part that breaks during the first six months you own the Maximum Pro MT Pro. So they're saying that any plastic parts that break on this thing in the first six months you own it, they will replace the parts free, guys. What kind of company do you see nowadays that will guarantee their stuff for six months? Nobody. I see nobody guaranteeing their stuff for six months. So let's read the last uh, thing here. It says, just send the broken parts to Duratrax and we'll send you free replacement. See the instruction manual for mailing address and details. Note, this warranty is available only directly from Duratrax and is not available from your dealer. So if you bought this directly from Duratrax, these people will freaking replace your plastic parts for free for six months after you bought this rig. So I think that is remarkable, to be honest with you guys. So when I saw this on Marketplace, I was extremely excited. And you're going to find out why in just a second now. So here we go, guys. This is the box, really awesome box. This thing is fully loaded, fully decked out. So let's open the box now and let's take a look what we actually got. Ooh, that looks just like the truck on the box, doesn't it? And what about the condition of that? What do you guys think about the condition of this? Ooh, let's not lift it by that because we do not want to break this. It looks like... Uh, this is a 22 year old truck, people. 22 years old. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the truck and we're gonna set this to the side for now. And we're gonna take a look at what we got in the box first. So yeah, if you guys uh, like this type of content, make sure that you, uh, that you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and uh, help push me over the, uh, help get me get me up there in the, in the subscriber count because I need more subscribers in order to make this thing pan out. So here we go, here's the remote from the box. Look at this, here's the controller that's on the box. This is a 22 year old box, 22 year old controller, 22 year old truck. Just look at, look at the condition of this stuff so far, just giving it a once over just check out the condition of that so we're gonna get we're gonna get to that soon so let's see what else we have in here let's just take a look at these box contents and then we'll take a look at the truck guys so I'm not sure if this is gonna be a two-part video or a one-part video this may be a two-part video just showing you guys the truck and then I'll make another video starting it up because otherwise this is gonna be quite a long video so if we can get it started we're gonna we're gonna look into that in a second so this is tools and accessories Duratrax tools and accessories essential for equipment for the workshop so this is I guess uh, came in the box when uh, you bought one of these trucks brand new so let's see what we have in here this is just going through uh, different screwdrivers individual packs I guess they sold uh, driver sets, precision tools. So this is just showing you the different tools that uh, Duratrax actually sh sold at the time. I know a lot of you guys are into this type of stuff. I definitely am I like looking at all of this this old look at uh, Shugu. They had Shugu on here. On the third track's actual parts list. This is back in 2001, guys. So that that came in the box. So let's set that to the side for now. And look at this. Original instruction manual. That came with this when it was new. I don't know what's written on here. Somebody wrote a phone number on here at one time. 
I'll just give this a once over look through. Just explaining the repair service required items to complete, tools you will need, antenna wire, setting up, air filter, carb, antenna tube, fuel tubing, uh, just basic stuff in here the battery pack and the remote, and the battery plug and the antenna. This is all, all uh, basic stuff that's in the in the instructions but this is extremely cool that this came with uh, this stuff so can you guys guess how much I paid for this truck look at the condition of it just looking at it take a guess how much I paid for this truck so I will let you know later in the video you're gonna have to you're gonna have to watch the video to find out because you don't know when I'm gonna tell you how much I paid for this it's all basic stuff. I'm trying to see if they have anything on the factory settings here. It's all setting up your linkages and your servos. Radio adjustments, prepare the engine. Okay, tire straps. The body, okay. Somebody wrote something in here with a pen. Pretty interesting, okay. They wrote the factory settings on here. Two and a half turns out for the high speed, which says right here, low speed. Uh, I don't know what it says about the low speed here. Low speed screw in the middle of the throttle arm and controls the fuel mixture in the low throttle. There's simple one, adjusting the low speed needle correctly. It's called pinch test with idle. Okay, so they're telling you to use pinch test to Okay, eight millimeters second to change. Somebody wrote in here with a pen how to adjust the low speed correctly. And how I, me personally, I don't like using the pinch test to adjust the needles. I like listening to the idle, uh, how it idles up and down, and adjusting adequately like that. So I don't know if this is correct uh, today. Um, so yeah, that's good to know. So we have all the info in there. See what else we have. We got the full exploded parts diagram. So we have, if we need any parts, we have a fully exploded diagram to get whatever parts we currently need. Oh, look at that! They come with C batteries in there. I haven't seen C batteries in a long time. Let me text my wife back real quick. Okay, so continue with this now so there's nothing else underneath there to check yesterday is just empty got a zip tie we have this then we have this so the top so let's take a look at this so i think this video we're just going to examine everything we have and then i'm going to come back on in a little bit and uh we're going to try to do something with it so what we have here is we have another anodized chassis. So we have a freaking spare upgraded chassis. Now I don't know why this person changed the chassis because I'll show you the chassis on that in one second. And what else do we have in the box? We have a receipt. So let's see what this receipt says. Maximum MT Pro install new chassis. So this is the receipt for when they had the chassis installed. You really can't see how much it is. I could see that's 48 something, 599 for something. It says need to check all radio linkage adjustments. You can't really see the total on this for some reason. I see it's saying like, uh, looks like maybe 125 or something. I can't really tell the total. But this receipt, and I don't mean to put your name on there, guy, is from 71701. So this receipt is from the year that this truck is released. So this means that this is from 2001 when this truck came out. So we have this really nice chassis which has 
absolutely no damage besides these two little front pieces here seem to be chipped a little bit but the whole rest of it seems like it's in mint condition so that's what's in that box see what we have in here have you guys uh, guessed how much I paid for this yet you guys taking your guess how much did you think I paid for this so this is neon pink fuel tubing which that's what this is so there's just some basic uh, we have a spur gear here brand new spur gear have some brand new zip ties we have the glow starter that came with this this is the glow starter that came with this brand new out of the box so we have the glow starter from uh, back from 2001 guys, which has a seat battery in it believe it or not and we have some extra seat batteries over here so we may check that out just for kicks to see if that actually runs Let's see what else we got in this little box here we got another exhaust tube we have some extra chrome pieces uh, antenna thing we have a couple empty uh, packages for glow plugs so somebody was going through some glow plugs because there's two packages here and pretty much there's just some some spares in there some fuel tubing nothing uh, terribly important a couple glow plugs down there a wrench to adjust the turnbuckles so this pretty much has everything that it had when it was brand new out of the box so now let's take a closer look at the truck and then you guys can determine how much you guys think that I paid for this. So, we're going to set this box to the side now. And we're going to take a little peek at the important thing here. So, like I said, I appreciate all you guys. I appreciate you all... Uh, tuning in and watching the videos i appreciate all of you subscribers but if you are not subscribed make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss anything take a look at that bad boy take a look at that bad boy right there look at that thing one tenth scale maximum mt pro baby third tracks baby how, how do you like that that looks like i mean this thing in all reality looks brand new looks like it just come out of the box which it just did so let's take a look at the the condition if you guys think oh it's just clean let's take a look at what it looks like under the body and then and only then I will tell you guys how much I paid for this I'll let you guys be the judge of if you think I got a good deal or not. Look at the condition of this body. Look at the condition of this body. Brand new, guys. 2001 truck. No damage whatsoever. I like uh, high quality stuff in my collection. And uh, when I saw this on the marketplace, I was like, yeah, that's a, that's a high quality example right there. So what we need to do is we need to put this antenna back in the hole right here. Okay, so that's it back in its spot. All right, so let's take a closer look. Of course, the uh, air filter's roached out. But look at this chassis. I mean, look at this chassis. Has nothing wrong with it. We got a little oil drippage there from the engine. But overall condition, look at the shocks. Overall condition of this, in my opinion, is nearly brand new. Pretty much brand new. There's the aluminum upgraded hubs, uh, the aluminum 
uh, shock caps everything looks brand new if you ask me look inside the chassis look how clean the chassis is the worst part of this whole truck that I can see is the fuel tank looks slightly dirty and the air filter is no good but the rest of it the condition like look at the wheels like these don't look like they've never really been ran like let's look at it in the light like, these are you know, freaking incredible condition guys this thing is in incredible condition for being from uh from 2001 like i said the only thing that's a little bit this is a little dirty which can be easily be cleaned up so now that you guys seen the condition of this how much do you guys think i would have paid for this or how much would you have paid for this because i looked these up on ebay already and um from what i've seen for these on ebay uh, they go for about 300 on ebay with no box without the original remote without the body in that condition um they go for about 300 dollars so in my opinion just the box alone to me just this box alone i love the box art on this thing uh, in my opinion, that box adds $120 of value to this, in my opinion. And if you haven't guessed already, I paid $120 for this. $120 for a 22-year-old vintage Duratrax Nitro, people. Duratrax MT Pro. Let me put my headlamp back on so I can shine some more light underneath this for you guys. Look at the condition of this chassis. And we have a spare chassis, which the guy replaced. Which I don't know why he replaced it, unless maybe this turned into a runaway and he crashed it. But the chassis doesn't look damaged at all, so I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. But you never know. Uh, the guy I got this from said... It was just in his closet. He doesn't use it anymore. He has electrics. I says, uh, don't worry. I'll take care of it. <laughs> I'll take care of it. This is, this is freaking, uh, this is history right here, guys. This is back from 2001. Um, I did check the engine, which let me get this pull start out. The pull start is a little, we got a little floppage on the pull start. Yeah, that's all right. We'll fix this later on in the day but let me show you guys what we have going on so far for the engine if I can get the pull start up. okay so I'm just gonna leave the pull start over here so what we have right now is I can't pull the pull start and the flywheel does not move so what we probably have going on is we probably have old nitro fuel in the engine and it like hardened over time and now the motor is locked so it's like same thing like the hpi rs4 i have over there when i got that the engine would not also also would not turn over and you guys can take a look at the awesome two-speed transmission we have here look at that awesome two-speed look at the gear mesh on that I'm trying to get it to focus in we have perfect gear mesh on this transmission here so what we have to do is uh, we have to get this running at some point so I'm still debating what um, what angle I'm gonna get this running from so like should I take this motor out and put pliers on the flywheel here and try to turn this over or and how involved is that and I don't want to break anything you guys understand what I'm saying I don't want to break this linkage here I don't want to break the 
the carb. I don't know if the carb is locked or not. Let's take a look. Uh, it doesn't. Feels like the carb is locked. So let's just. I can't even get that air filter off. So we're gonna have to work on this. So it feels like the carb is locked. We're gonna have to spray WD-40 down in here. Soak the engine down with WD-40. And then um, we're gonna have to evaluate how to get this to turn over. Cause currently right now, you can't pull this cord. Which is, it's perfectly fine with me to be honest with you for the price I paid for 120. And it doesn't even matter if this never runs. I can, I could put this on eBay and probably get $400 for this with the box and just as is sitting just like that sitting pretty just like that with this completely mint condition body okay you guys understand i could get 400 for this all day i paid 120 for this i drove me and my wife and my kid we drove about an hour and 20 minutes away and about an hour and 20 minutes back to get this and uh if you guys remember, I had told you guys I wasn't going to buy any more nitros until I fixed everything. Well, I started adding everything up, and it was about 120 bucks worth of parts I needed between that. It was more than 120 with all the parts I needed, okay? So I started, I was sitting there, and I was like, I was talking to my wife, and I was like, uh, do you think I should order parts for the ones that I have? Or I found this crazy deal. She says, how much is the one you found? And I told her, 120 bucks. She says, are you freaking kidding me? Like, let's go get it. That's how you know you found a good wife. When she actually uh, encourages you to pursue your dreams and to pursue your hobbies. And, uh, you know, you don't really find those too many. You don't find too many uh, of those. So I really appreciate her for uh, for being supportive of me and my dreams and uh you know we wouldn't be here today doing this if it wasn't for good people like that you know so just want to say i appreciate her for uh helping me make this happen um and staying by my side while i go spend our money on this kind of stuff so um yeah thank you all for watching i really appreciate all you if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button because now they, uh, YouTube has recently just lowered the requirements for you to become an earner on YouTube. So now I only need uh, 500 subscribers and then uh, I can start like a members only and I can start like a super chats so I can do live streams and you guys can help uh, support the channel if you would like to do so. So uh you know, I would really appreciate you guys help me get over the 500 subscriber uh, count. And and even more than that, you know, I, I like to keep going. I like to keep the subscribers going up. But, uh, you know, even just getting to uh, 500 subscribers will, will allow me to create a members-only uh, package for you guys. So, like, uh, if I make new ad acquisitions like this, uh, I can make... Uh, members only um videos so like um like purchases like this what i would do in that case would be um i would make this video and then offer it to my members uh like seven or 14 days earlier than the people that are not members of the uh of my members only uh youtube so you guys get the idea. So if you guys become a member, you, you'd be able to view the videos that I come out with uh, way earlier than everybody that is not a member. So uh, in order for me to do that, I need more um, subscribers. So um, if you guys could uh, help me get over the subscriber uh, hurdle there, I would uh, greatly appreciate it. Um, cause you guys see where the channel is going. Um, obviously I bought the HPI RS4 when I first started making videos again. And then, uh, we currently got the rustler going. We have, everything is running besides the earthquake and the dirt tracks. I currently just broke the pull cord on that. 
So that is the only reason why the dirt track is not running right now. We need a pull cord and we're going to need some hump packs for stuff and we're going to need some parts for that. But I figured the deal on this for $120 was a freaking amazing deal because the truck itself without the box would go for about 300 bucks. The truck without the box, without the controller, without the original, all the original stuff that has receipts from 2001 when this truck come out so um yeah so that's where we're going with the channel guys we're trying to uh we're going to continue to buy uh nitros and fix them and make them uh, what they used to be now uh, what i'm going to do with this truck is uh my plan to do with this truck is uh to run this strictly on pavement uh because of the condition of this um I do not want to take this off-road and destroy the amazing chassis that's underneath here and uh, destroy the value out of this truck. So um, we are going to get this running, or at least I'm going to attempt attempt to get this running because I don't know if this is a runner or not. Currently, it's totally locked up. So um, we're going to have to look into that. So we're going to have to... Uh, either take the motor out or figure out how to get it to spin over while it's in the truck which I may be able to remove this pull start to be honest with you guys I may be able to this is just an idea I just come up with this idea I just thought of it just now may be able to pull this pull start off of here and then uh, usually they have like a bolt shaped one way bearing on there I might be able to put like an allen and like a nut uh, a regular socket onto the bolt shaped one way bearing and may be able to slowly break this loose after we put oil and stuff in here but in order to do that um, I'm going to have to pull this uh, off of here so for now guys what we're going to do is we're going to put this body back on here just for now just for a second We're gonna give you guys one more look over at this beautiful Duratrex Maximum MT Pro that I paid a whopping $120 for, guys. I don't know about you, but that definitely seemed like the deal of the day. This seemed like an extremely, extremely good deal. I got the original box, original radio system, original everything. Got original receipts from back in 01. This even has the original sticker on there for $411 when it was new. So, uh, with that, guys, uh, please, please, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Uh, show your support that, uh, you know, that I am doing this for a reason. Um, and I will see you guys on the next video. So with that, I'm going to leave you guys off with one final look of this beauty. And a thank you. And you are extremely appreciated. And I will be back on later today. And we're going to try to fire this up because currently it's 9.15 in the morning on Sunday. And I'm going to... Uh, finish drinking my coffee here and I'm gonna uh, take a little break here for a second and then I will be back on to figure out which approach we're gonna take to start this up so this video is kind of getting on the long side and um, I want to break this up to a couple videos so this way you know you guys don't have to sit there for hours and hours and watch this in one shot so uh, I extremely appreciate all of you I appreciate everything. I appreciate you subscribers. If you're not subscribed, do so please. And I will see you all very shortly. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting the channel. And uh, I would appreciate you guys. And I will see you all very shortly.